Hello everybody. Uh, greetings to one and everyone. Today we will actually be creating a policy from Intune on how you can actually deploy a configuration profile to disable or turn off Windows Copilot. Now here is an easy procedure. I'll be sharing the link in the description of where you can actually find the policy settings uh, coming straight from Microsoft. And I'll also be showing you a practical way how you can actually perform this using the Intune Endpoint Manager. I hope this video will be useful to you. So let's get started without wasting any time. So the first thing what you do is you log into your Endpoint Manager. So once you log in, on the left hand side at the bottom, you'll find an option that's called Configuration. So first, you may have to select devices and once you click devices, it will take you to a page where you need to click configuration. So once you click configuration, there's an option that says policies, then you create. So here's the CSP. Uh, on the right hand side, you can actually find the CSP uh, settings coming from Microsoft. So here you select the platform, Windows 10. Here you select template. You click on custom. Now give it the name of uh, disable Windows Copilot. Or you can give the name as per your choice. This is for my reference. Next, then here's the uh, OMA URI settings that is OMA URI settings that you need to add. Now here are the settings. You'll find it in the link, of, link in description. Just uh, go to the website, go to the Microsoft website. Copy that. You need to add settings. So here, here you need to mention Windows Pro Pilot. Description is optional. The URI, URI settings, you have to copy the settings here, paste it here. Make sure there are no space or anything like that. Make sure this is the same. Data type, you need to select integer. And then value, so according to the article, it shows value one is to disable copilot. So you mention one. Please be advised, this is a user-driven profile. Okay, I click on save. Next, if you want to add to all the users that you're managing on your devices, you can do it, or you can add, create a group for it. For this instance, I'm going to add all users. Then click next. Rules, now this is definitely optional. I don't think so it's required, unless if it's really required for you. Click next. Then you create the policy would actually take some time to push out. Um, this will uh, probably take on a safer side. You can wait for at least half an hour and make sure that the device has one of these versions. At least has your device must have a Windows Pro and above it so that this can actually accept. Guys, for more videos, please subscribe and thank you for your time.